all right what's going on today everybody today we got the old simplex out baby we got the uh what i like to call the old faithful i suppose i would say i actually have uh the carbon fiber shaft from the legend though on the simplex uh uh, no real big reason, I guess. I just kind of wanted to try it out, but uh, yeah, so I guess let's get right into this today, hey? I just uh, kind of, I've been searching around here for a couple minutes now. I got a couple pull tabs, a couple like pieces of scrap aluminum and such. You know how it goes out here at the park, right? But this is my first like relatively good signal, I guess. Good signal. <laughs> The pull tabs are always good signals, but this one is almost guaranteed going to be a coin of some type. Could always be wrong, but I'm going to guess a 78 on the simplex. That's usually going to be a dime or a copper penny, man. So let's check them out. I'm going to probably try to keep you guys on for a live dig for a little while, but uh, we'll see how the targets come, man. See how uh, few and far between they are out here. Okay, there it is. It was indeed a do a coin. Scratched him up a little bit, but he's just a 1982. He just made it to a copper penny. So that is, I think, maybe our first coin out here today. Whoops. <laughs> I got my old faithful digging uh, tool too with me. This thing is rugged as ever, man. So I actually checked the tot lot. There's like a little bit of a playground at this spot. Bring you guys up just a little bit. I don't want to blow up the location, man. Here's a 30, 31. That could be a nickel. I checked around the tot lot a little bit with really no luck. I was in the tot lot at this park probably like a couple weeks ago and I pretty much cleared the thing out. So, ah, uh, no shortage of those babies out here, huh? I'm in a little bit of shade under a tree, but I'm about to move over to some sunlight. So let's just continue on here, hey? Like I said, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna attempt to make this into a live dig episode. So that basically just means like no cuts, no edits, you know? But I don't know. Never goes as planned, really. Something always comes up, you know? And I'm not gonna be digging every single small signal today either. What is that? That ain't even metal, is it? <laughs> the heck is that, man? But like 30s, you know, mid 20s, I'm going to be digging. I'm just not going to be digging every single foil signal out here because, I mean, I can't complain. I'm glad that the sun is shining, but the sun is shining pretty bright today, man. <laughs> and I just don't really want to get down for like every single little tiny foil signal. But I do want a chance at some gold, so I'm going to dig up some of those low to med conductive signals for sure. See what we got on this one. What do we got? Some scrap? <laughs> Where is it? Oh, wait, wait, wait. What is that? Okay, it's a nickel. All right, that one's a little bit unexpected there, but I think it was reading like maybe high 20s, low 30s. So yeah, it's right in the nickel range, I suppose. But I was definitely expecting a piece of scrap on that one. So you never know what you won't find, baby, till you pull it out. But I haven't really done much detecting in this grassy area over here like i said i've been to the tot lot the playground a couple times at this place but i don't know this grassy spot has me intrigued and i'm not gonna lie to you guys okay metal detecting i've been doing it for around like maybe two years maybe given give or take a little bit of time and uh personally i'm just gonna be honest i have only ever found one silver coin in my time detecting but wait one silver coin until about like two weeks ago when i was hunting this spot my gopro i kid you not i brought my gopro but i did not charge my batteries and i had one of probably what i'd like to say like one of the best days for me in a long while because i found my second freaking silver coin out here man and it was a um it wasn't even an american coin that's the thing it was like a dutch like an it was a 1940 something 10 cent piece and i was just gonna make a short video and like show you hey guys look what i found but I don't know, to me, you guys know my channel, right? I like the live digs, baby. If I'm not gonna find that thing like live on camera, I may as well not even show it is like my thought process. But anyways, I ended up at this spot getting my second silver coin ever. 
like I said, it was like a, I don't know, like a, either a Dutch or a Netherland 10 cent from like 1940s. I think though, I was looking it up and it's not even like 90% silver how the American coins are. I think it was only like 60% silver maybe. But hey, a silver coin is a silver coin, man. And it's like, I don't know how the heck a Dutch coin could have gotten out at this spot. You know what I'm saying? So the mystery is there, man. That's just, that's bottom line. What I love about metal detecting is it doesn't matter where you are. You could literally find anything anywhere. <laughs> you could find a freaking Roman coin that somebody was, you know, had a coin show or something out here with a bunch of people at picnic tables or the chances are very, very slim to none, but... <laughs> You know, if you're optimistic, if you have an open mind, it definitely could happen. But, I don't know, I'm kind of just maybe cherry picking a little bit. I'm trying to get a high tone. This thing just funky as ever. This one's actually like bouncing from 20s up into a high tone. So let's see. Might have just two signals right here. We might have something juicy under here, man. Might be a bottle cap, honestly. What do we got? There it is. <laughs> oh, come on, man. There ain't no shortage of those babies out here. Pull tab after pull tab action. Well, I was over, I'm trying to make my way over to this direction. It's probably a penny signal there. We'll get it real quick. Because when I was walking actually like into this park, I went over a patch of what seemed like a buttload of coins. So I'm trying to find that patch again. But this definitely is not it. <laughs> yep, that's what I expected there. Just a crusty modern penny. If you guys are new to the simplex by chance, usually the crusty, uh, like the modern day pennies, they'll read right there like 68, sometimes a little bit higher, but usually they'll read like 68 and lower. Because once they start to get real crusty, they, uh, they just read even lower. <laughs> Might be a nickel, 29, 30, 31. Let's check them out. Again, I'm like right now I'm under some maybe palm trees or something. This could have been a little hangout area for somebody. You never know out at the park, man. We got, like I said, I hit basically all of the popular areas out here. I've been through the playground, you know, really any areas of activity. I walked along the walking path. Ooh, somebody was getting it on under the trees, man. That's a Trojan right there. <laughs> okay, we're getting it now. We're getting it good. But, um, yeah, what am I saying? I don't even know what I was saying. Let me try to find that patch, though. I'm thinking that there might have been, like, um, I'm right next to the playground over here now. And I'm thinking that there might have been, like, uh, picnic tables or something over here at some point, maybe. Piece of scrap right on top. <laughs> yeah, I'm just not really, uh, I guess I just don't really have the energy to dig up everything today but i'm trying to dig up still most signals i pass over i am being a little bit picky though so let me see i'm trying to find that patch like i just said there was a buttload of coins over here somewhere man where are you <laughs> that might be our first one right there it's a 66 we'll go for him let's check him out Try to pop them out quick. Yeah, if any of you guys are new to here, I'm hunting in uh, Florida. This is basically, as far as I know, a pretty modern park, but I'm pretty sure you guys just heard what I was talking about earlier, right? This is also the same park that I think I got it on video a while ago. I found a 1940 Centavos out here, too. So, two 1940s coins could have just been, you know, luck for sure, but... There could be some more old coins out here, man. That would be ideal. But I'll take the modern stuff too, I suppose, right? I'm trying to listen for some high ones, man. Like 19, that's 99% scrap foil. But let's just dig it up real quick to make sure, huh? I'm just curious, baby. Let's see. Little piece of some scrap. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah, pretty sure. 
something small in there. Could be a little golden earring or something, man. Just when you're at like a modern park, you gotta think of like odds in a way, you know? <laughs> I mean, the odds that there's a gold earring out here somewhere is probably pretty high, but the odds of you finding that gold earring in between all of the scrap, like aluminum foil, because that's usually what like the small gold, like a gold earring would read up as, like really similar, man, to a little tiny piece of scrap foil. So sure, there could have been a gold earring dropped out here somewhere, or a gold ring, but how many more pieces of, like, that scrap aluminum were dropped compared to that gold earring, you know? So sometimes I like to, like, sometimes I like to play odds a little bit, because also when you're, you know, when you're in the dirt, it's not as easy to dig as, say, like, the soft sugar sand at the beach. So at the beach, I'm pretty much digging up every single thing that beeps, but... Out here at the park, I have been maybe slightly more picky lately. It's just I've dug up so many little pieces of scrap. What the heck is this thing? Holy moly, what is that? I was just saying I've dug up so many pieces of scrap at those low numbers that, um, that's gotta be some jewelry right there, baby. Is it an earring or something? Hey, I've dug up so much scrap at those low numbers that you know I don't see myself finding I don't know actually but hey look at that that's kind of nice a little piece of some bling of some type right there huh silver maybe I don't think so just because it's like kind of rusty on the back but it might have been an earring or something at some point huh it's pretty decent man pretty decent but yeah so like like I'm saying like uh odds right sometimes if you're feeling like digging every single beep that beeps man all power to you go for it but i'm already starting to sweat and i've only been out here for i don't know probably like 25 minutes or something so i don't want to use all the energy i have digging up those foil signals you know Sometimes even like this is a 66, so it's probably going to be a modern penny. Sometimes I'll even skip these if there's like more signals around. But it just depends, you know, like how much time do we have in a day? How much energy do we have to spend? There's a lot of like variables, I think. Let's see. Yep, that one is just a modern day penny, man. A crusty one. <laughs> So we're on it. We've got some coins already. I'm surprised actually. We just sniped out that little piece of jewel. So let us continue on here, huh? I still don't know where that patch of coins is at though. I was getting a lot of high tones. I guess I shouldn't have left it. <laughs> There's something. 76. Probably gonna be like a dime or a copper penny, but we can be uh, hopeful, right? We can be hopeful. There it is. Yep, just going to be a dime on that one. Pretty close to the surface. So let's get into the power digging mood, huh? Let's start power digging some targets here. Enough blabbing. Let's start digging. Actually, not enough blabbing. We're going to continue to blab, but <laughs> we're going to try to blab and dig at the same time. You know, that's that's like one thing about video making, at least for me, is sometimes I feel like I don't dig as many targets when I'm making a video. So some days I will come out here with no camera, but a lot of days, man, I'll still bring out the old GoPro with me. Sometimes I'll just have it rolling and I won't talk just in case I pull something awesome, you know, but it usually doesn't go that way. 35, 37, just bouncy signals all over here. Let's get it. Nice mid conductor under some rock. <laughs> but yeah, let me know. Uh, if you guys have just recently got a simplex, let me know. I'm curious to know, man. I've had my simplex probably close to, maybe close to two years now. I don't remember actually when I first got it, but. We've been learning them pretty good, man. And I still come back to them after all this time, you know? After all these different metal detectors, the Simplex is still a strong little machine, man. This baby don't want to come out easy. I'm guessing very likely going to be a pull tab of some type. Maybe a new one, maybe an old one. Come on. 
Where are you at? Got it in our hand here. And yep, it's the old style though, man. The one that always fools you into thinking it looks like a ring. <laughs> Quite unfortunate on that one, but that's okay, that's okay. So let's kinda pack this hole up a little bit, fluff them out. <laughs> Here too, uh, I don't know if it works like in all states, but with the sand especially, like when you're trying to put your hole back, all you got to really do is fluff out that sand and it makes that hole look like 10 times better. So even if you don't dig like a perfect plug, I always encourage you to try, you know, try your best to dig a good, uh, a good hole, good clean hole. But, you know, if you can't, make sure you at least fluff that baby back out. I think that does definitely help a lot. So 65, solid, but it's probably just gonna be a crusty penny, man. But you can't be sure, like if you're new to, that's another thing that you just, that's why I'm still digging up these pennies is because you don't know for sure. You can have a general idea that it's probably gonna be a penny under there, or like, you know, if it's reading kind of similar to a dime, you can kind of make the assumption it's probably going to be what it is, but you don't know for sure, you know? I found at least a couple rings that were reading right there in the penny range. Nothing crazy significant yet, but it's 41.42. Basically, I'm glad I was digging those penny signals up, you know? I wouldn't have found those rings otherwise. So... See, this one's probably a pull tab. <laughs> Let's check him out. He's like 40s, a little bit bouncy. Yep, just what we suspected, man. We're basically just right around like the perimeter of the playground, so I still haven't found that little coin patch I was talking about, though. Come on, man, where's the coins? Where's the coin patch? 47, 48. We're just digging random signals out here, man. A lot of like the rings in jewelry will read just randomly, you know? Goes from silver, usually rings up kinda high, but it just depends, you know? Depends on the size and the shape of it. What is that? What the heck is that? I don't know. I think it's probably just a piece of aluminum or something, top off of a can. Pretty sure it's just some junk, man. <laughs> Nothing too crazy. But uh, yeah, like you just never know with like the target IDs on these newer machines, man. Anything can pretty much just read about anywhere. You know, I found a couple pieces of like silver that didn't even read high. When you think silver, you think like a high target ID or a high tone, but you know, if it's a little silver earring, maybe a silver bracelet, or sometimes even really small silver rings don't really read like incredibly high. So I'm being a little bit picky, man, but we're just trying to hunt it out for a little while. Trying to at least grab a couple coins while I'm out at this spot. Because that silver or two that I found out here, that 1940s, was reading up, I'm pretty sure, identical to like a copper penny or a dime. So... That's why I'm being a little bit more picky at this spot. Just trying to kind of search for those high tones, you know? But I'm not really getting any over here, so. I don't know, man. Come on. Let us hit on something, please. 32, 33. It's either gonna be the gold nugget or the pull tab. The elusive golden pull tab. Let's see what we got right here. It's in the clump. There it is. Okay, pretty good. This area I'm hunting to right here is, uh, I don't know if you guys caught that video I made a couple weeks ago. It's where I found that really nice, like, Lord's Prayer ring. I thought that baby was gonna be gold at first, but. <laughs> Let me just switch it over to, uh, I'm gonna switch it over to field mode for a little bit longer here. Let's swing it around a little bit. This mode will actually give you a completely different set of tones if you didn't know. So sometimes it's nice just to switch things up a little bit, you know? Eh, he was reading like 1920 in the scrap range, man. Come on. Another 1920 there. 
foily signal, 1920. You see what I mean, how many low signals there are around? But this one's a little bit higher, so 2324. Um, something that I have done in the past is I've found only a couple gold rings in my time metal detecting. Maybe like a dozen or maybe, I'm not even going to say two dozen because I know I haven't found two dozen gold rings, but a lot of the gold rings that I have found read like very low. I was trying to find like a common gold number on the simplex in previous days. And at least like with my small sample size, a lot of the gold I found read right in like the 20s. So you know pretty much exactly identical to like all your aluminum scrap and just your bull crap that you don't really want to be digging up the unfortunate truth is most of my gold sounded just like that so i don't know sometimes it is like a little bit of a mental struggle like what what do you dig you know when you're at a spot with so many targets sometimes it's just hard to know what to actually dig but that's why you just got to get out here man Oh, it might be, I was going to say a nickel, but it's a little bit too bouncy probably. Usually the nickels on the Simplex, I think they'll go like 29, 30, 31. Pretty solid there, but this one's bouncing up to 34. But it just depends, man. Depends on a lot of different factors, I think. It could be on its edge. It could just be a pull tab, which that's what it is. <laughs> That's usually the case when it's bouncing a little bit higher, but there's just a lot of variations, you know? You just never truly know. I'm trying to slap on something decent out here, man. Another like 25, 26 right there. Let's try it. Power dig this baby out of here, huh? Eat! We almost right on top of them. We can get them. We got this, man. We got this. A couple scoopers down. Yeah, gold. I mean, gold coins, too. Now, in a spot like this, very unlikely that you're going to have a chance to find a gold coin. But, the heck is that, dude? What is that? Um... Is that piece to a super old shotgun head stamp, maybe? Kind of looks like it, huh? Anyways, what was I just blabbing about? <laughs> um, I think that actually might be piece to a shotgun head stamp. Maybe a paper cartridge one? I cannot see any writing or anything on it, so I don't know. But, yeah, I don't even know, man. Sometimes I ramble on and I forget what the heck I'm even saying. But, <laughs> we're not doing too bad out here, so... Yeah, after all that time, I still haven't even found that coin patch, man. I should have dug it up when I found it the first time. Really pretty nice, solid 30-31 right here. He's squeaking up pretty good. Come here, you. Ew. Maybe a nickel. Yep, there he is, too. Anything significant on him, baby? Any significant date? Nah, just a 1995. So, I mean, it ain't too crazy out here today, everybody, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to end this video off right here, and I'm just going to continue digging. So, uh, the determining factor pretty much for if there's going to be another video is if I find anything decent out here, but I'm still going to try to kind of just keep the camera on. I'm just not going to be talking and blabbing as much because it's really, I hate to complain, but it is roasting hot out here, man. And I got to kind of, you know, just get down there and dig if I want to dig any targets out at all. So I appreciate you guys hanging out with me a whole bunch. Uh, thank you for joining me on this short one. I know it wasn't crazy, but at least we sniped out that little piece of jewelry, huh? So thank you guys again. Appreciate you hanging out. If you enjoyed it, you know what to do. I need some water because I'm about to go down right now. But Oh, now I'm going to get some high tones over here. What? Nope, some iron falsing. So anyways, appreciate you guys hanging out with me. And uh, I hope to see you guys very soon.